This week, we are at a hot new restaurant. We're at Ochre Restaurant. We're here um, in the heart of downtown Salt Lake City. We're about 100 South and 368 East, Jane. 368 East. I love that you use the word hot because this dish is going to be gorgeous, and it's, it's a hot item on the menu. We're here with Chef Andrew Fuller, and uh, Chef, throw it down for us, right? Yeah, uh, welcome. Uh, the potatoes, the milk braised potatoes have quickly become a fan favorite in the dining room. Uh, it's, it's really simple. Uh, people love the, the interaction at the table when we tell them about the dish. Uh, but it's really, uh, it's, it's a meat and potatoes uh, point of view on it and and no frills. Ooh, so here we go. Yeah. You're diving right yes. in. Yes, in fact, it, it is heating up behind us. That's part of, of the hotness going on. Okay. Now, milk braised potatoes. Do you get it? Yeah. I, I so we cook the potatoes as we make ricotta curd. Oh. That's when that's the good. curd separates, we strain that off. When the potatoes are tender, we strain that off. Uh, re I mean, really, 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 really simple. <laughs> okay, now you're plating. I love the it. The cheese goes down first. It's okay. it, it, it's so simple. Potatoes and cheese. Uh, I mean, we're not reinventing these, the wheel. These are, yeah, these are, this is poetry for us. Keep the, going. Well, this is this is what everybody wants. So yeah. what we, type of potato is this too? So the, the way, this is a normal. marble potato. Okay. This is a, a small um, marble potato. And chef, you're making we, the ricotta in house. Yeah, so we oh so gosh. we make the ricotta with uh, local dairy. We love that. And then it just gets garnished with uh, whatever members of the onion family we have in house. Ah, nice. Okay. Love so it, love we it. get a lot of it locally. Uh, we have roasted cipollini onions. We have fermented ramps. I love as the chef like chooses his. Um, artistic endeavor with the tweezers, right? Yes. Which one will he use? I love it. We, we love a tweezer in the kitchen. Yeah. So there's, there's several things we love. And one thing in particular is the fact that we have to wait until tomorrow with you to actually see this dish in its fullest form, um, maybe with a few other ochre specialties, right, Katie? Oh, we're so excited. We're sitting down with your wife, Angie, um, who's also owner of Ochre, and we can't wait. Well, we, uh, you know, we have a plethora of, of signature items that we've, uh, that, that we've come to be known for, and, and this is just one of them. People keep coming back and keep asking for more, and, and the simplicity behind it is really kind of what Ochre stands behind. Simple and, ingredients uh, and let the plate do the talking. Exactly. We'll be Love back it. tomorrow. Thank you, Chef.